Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our back again. Straight away I'm going to start with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side followed by the deep squat wherein we sit in a deep squat for few seconds. It's quite important to make sure you start your workout with a dynamic stretching routine which lasts you anywhere from 2 to 5 minutes. Yes, you may always add a 5 minute cardio to get your heart beat up but make sure you do the dynamic stretching because as you put your body in voluntary stress by lifting heavy weights we want to make sure we have good amount of mobility and also nothing is restricted which might cause unnecessary overcompensation by other muscles and later on a little bit of pain also so dynamic stretching is always a great way to start your workout for the first exercise i'm going to start with the t-bar rows what i have done is i have done two warm-up sets before starting with my working sets my working sets were four with 12 to 15 repetition range depending upon as I was trying to go do more sets my range obviously was not I was not able to achieve the 15 repetitions because not only those 15 repetitions when I was done with those I immediately used to get up slightly up and do as many repetitions as possible to failure with my upper back alone so right now my entire back is working my lower back is stabilizing me my upper back is pulling the weight but as you can see as I stand a little bit taller or slightly up both my upper back has to do the work in terms of pulling the weight now when you're doing this particular exercise if you're doing on the equipment which is available in your gym the t-bar equipment you need not use small plates like i did i use small plates so that i get way more uh, range of motion way more stretch i always like to roll my shoulders out completely and from there pull the weight back up to my chest the smaller plates also allows me a lot more distance to travel a lot more work to be done in this few repetitions which i can manage again if you have a t-bar equipment you need not worry so much because it will be set up in such a way that you'll get an entire range of motion without even with a big plate post completing these i moved on to the basic lat pull downs three sets 20 repetitions here there are mag grips available in my gym so i'm using them these have been great for me because my forearms always kick in when i'm doing lat pull downs on any other regular equipment but with these with the neutral grip they don't come in until the last set or the last few repetitions which is great because then i can totally focus on my lat muscles doing the job remember you can choose to hold it on a shoulder length uh, with the attachment i chose to go as wide as possible and always go through the full range of motion as you can see here completely stretch out and completely push down your elbows basically you're driving your elbows behind your back creating the maximum amount of contraction and as they go back up you completely release the weight back up the ideal thing would be the weight to not rest but if the weight is rest, uh, resting because of the length of cable available at your gym it's fine i mean we have to work with what is available to us but if possible make sure the weight is always uh, under tension basically the weight is always pulling you're never resting the weight yeah, so that it becomes a little bit more difficult in terms of pulling the weight down and a little bit more effective repetitions that's about it nothing greatly different post completing those a little bit of more upper back work with face pulls three sets 20 repetitions and you can see here clearly how i perform them always driving with my wrist and squeezing out my entire upper back as much as possible by pushing my chest forward and driving my entire arms back with my wrist so till halfway through my forearms are leading and as i come closer it's my wrist which lead backwards so i get a maximum amount of squeeze behind my back and it's pretty evident i think the video shows you what exactly i'm trying to do basically making my entire posterior chain work really hard upper posterior chair there's a slight bit of lower back also doing the job here in terms of stabilizing me not falling forward or not tripping forward and here you can see from the front how I release the weight completely rolling my shoulders again completely rolling off my shoulders and from there pulling it back again the cable is always under tension the weight is never resting so I stand just far away to make sure the weight is never completely resting and from there do the face pulls excellent way to build your upper back and also the upper back strength great great exercise now after completing those i decided to do a little bit of more calf works don't have genetically gifted calves something which i would always always keep working on so yes 
three sets as many repetitions as possible slow and controlled manner here i'm doing i'm using a leg press machine which is available in my gym but if you prefer to you can do it on a seated calf machine or also standing calf raises if you have a standing calf raise machine please do use that you can also use the leg press machine like i am doing to do uh, to do these calf raises make sure you go through the full range of motion as you can see here complete contraction and complete stretch that's how we kill our calves they have to grow they have to grow let's keep pushing because quite an important muscle to make sure you have healthy knees and overall healthy lower body strength they do a lot of job especially when you're walking and running they contribute a lot so we have to make sure they are firstly very strong and have a really good amount of endurance so failure sets are really great to build that mental fortitude and pain endurance so for the last exercise again a little bit more of upper back work to get it a little bit more wider as much as possible and as much thick as possible simply bent over high elbow rows now i'm supporting myself on a bench you can do that too three sets as many repetitions as possible and as you can see my elbows are completely flayed out they're almost beside my shoulders and from there i row the dumbbells up basically it's like an inclined or bent over face pull kind of a thing but the lats are also severely involved here as the weight drops forward and we start pulling it but yes mostly our upper and mid back is doing the large amount of work we might not be able to get as much squeeze as a face pull because the gravity is acting against us but yes definitely a lot of upper back work lower back if you're not using any kind of support will also have to pitch in because then it has to stabilize your entire upper body to not roll forward so you can try that out too but i was tired by now so i just chose to have a little bit of support on my chest to complete those repetitions and that's it we are done i thought of finishing off with a vertical hang but i then said okay let me try a few full ups also so what i have done is i done three four vertical hangs with 30 or 30 to 40 seconds hangs with three or four pull ups as many as possible so you can try that out too and make sure you take a wide grip because we want to really stretch create that stretch in our upper back and our lower back and as you can see how my muscles are completely spread out creating that good muscular region and every time i was about to finish off i was trying to do as many pull-ups as i could i don't know if this is ideal but i really liked it and i finished off on a high so i was really proud of it i hope you do do that so thank you so much for watching i hope you liked the video if you did please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe uh, this i really hope that this workout has been great to you because it was for me i will see you in the next video have a good day